Hey guys, it's the 5th of July, I'm at the allotment, it's quite windy today so the sound might not be brilliant. Um, I just thought I'd quickly show you some flowers because there are quite a few different flowers that are coming out. Um, so this is my newest rose which is called Scepter de Isle. As you can see down there, uh, really lovely rose. Really light, nice light pink, yellow kind of centre. It's meant to be okay for pollinators, even though it is a double flowered. Um, and then, yeah, the backdrop of that is like all these cosmos, which have done really well. I'm quite happy of those. Did them from seed. Um, just looked after them, and then yeah, they're putting out all these really lovely flowers. I mean, some of these are really cool, really strange types of flowers. Um, so yeah, they're doing really well. Just they just add a bit of colour. Um, I've got marigolds here, which I did from seed. I just scattered some over here. Didn't particularly look after them, but a few survived. So we got some marigolds doing all right there. Um, what I like to do, or I, yeah, yeah. To be fair, because I, I was about to say what I like to do is leave weeds to flower so that the pollinators can get to them. And then I was thinking, is that really the case, or am I just not? like weeding um, sufficiently but actually no there are quite a few cases where like this bush here which is a I think it's a red dead nettle or maybe there's a similar species called black whorehound um, it's in the mint family and it it just has well they, they come into an end now but it has all these lovely little purple flowers and there's always bees and ladybirds and that all over them so um, I've left this one um, all year I cut it back, so like I cut back where I want to grow other stuff, but I, I leave the majority of it in the ground. Um, the same thing goes over there, I've got a, it's a mallow, a common mallow I think, Malva sylvestris, which I leave, um, though I probably will, as soon as it's done flowering, I probably will cut it down to stop it seeding everywhere. But um, some of the, the more intentional flowers have been the dahlias, and I'm really, really happy because, yeah. Um, first dahlias are coming out and this this one's amazing the problem is I can't remember which varieties these are um, I have I've got the labels back at home but um, I can't I, I don't remember picking up a yellow one so yeah I'm not sure which one that is I do remember picking up one this color which is looking really really amazing I can't remember what it's called <laughs> but yeah I mean that's such an amazing colour. These are really tiny, by the way. I thought dahlias were a lot bigger than this, like in terms of height. They're, they're really small. Um, I have planted quite a few close together, so maybe that's why. Um, got some lilies here, which they look okay. I'm not particularly fond of the colour because it doesn't really stand out much, but um, still, you know, lovely to have some flowers. Um, this, these ones I really like, these little tiny dahlias, which are nice open centred for the pollinators. Um, this is either, there's, there were two white ones I think, one was called Chic White and one was called uh, Sweetheart. So it's one of those two I think, but yeah, really, really lovely. And they're quite sturdy flowers as well, they're quite robust. Um, so that's really lovely and I've got a few more that haven't yet flowered um, that are coming up so looking forward to that um, got some random I assume this was a leek so I've left a few of these in the ground as well just to flower because they're quite lovely um, I've got some alliums that are just coming out of the back so I'll try and hold it still there's a bee on there Oh, bees attacking me. Um, so yeah, I've got some lovely alliums, which are just coming out. Um, I'm glad, I, I nearly pulled all these up because I, I was getting frustrated with all the grass that was coming up. But I weeded around them and they're doing well now, so happy about that. Um, I swear there was another flower. Maybe not. Oh, I was going to show you quickly the compost heap, so I've just spent most of today sawing up some pallets um, to build this compost heap. It's not like fixed together yet but yeah like I said in the last video um, these are just not big enough and 
yeah what i've found in the past is actually compost heaps work well when you just basically pile everything on and keep going and going and going and then like in a year's time you you dig all the top layer off and then underneath you you generally get a decent level of compost there so that's the plan anyway um so yeah that's i think that's all the flowers um there's this little wild patch over here which again has got another one of these um these mints either the red dead nettle or black whorehound whichever one it is um and then yeah i've got this verbena which doesn't want to focus on it but yeah quite, quite, the, the verbena i didn't realize grew so tall it's it's like almost my height <laughs> it probably is my height actually so that's pretty cool um and then yeah i'm waiting on a few like i've got echinacea um hardy ginger another dahlia some more dahlias so we've got still quite a lot of flowers to come um and then we've got things like oh actually yeah you can see this is actually one of my favorite plants um this is catmint on the pita um i can't remember which species exactly but it's just it's one of the Nepeta species, um, one of my my favourite plants. It's it's really lovely. Um, and then we've got plants obviously like this, which are not flowers but look really really cool. I love this this canna. It's amazing. Um, some flowers over there, they're not they're they're pretty big. They're pretty thick, but they're not quite flowering yet. Um, and then I'll just show you the last thing, which I love. Um, again, it's another. It's not a flower, but it's just as amazing. Um, and it's my dwarf cavendish banana, which the main plant hasn't really done much. Um, you can see it's put out these new leaves, but it's, it's just the texture and color on these leaves, which is amazing. Um, but it has put out quite a few young suckering plants. Um, so at least the plant, it, in general is doing okay i would have liked it to get a bit taller and put up one bigger shoot but um but yeah we'll see it's, it is picking up now so I'm, I'm hoping the next three months maybe july august september it's gonna really get going and then i can dig it up for winter bring it in as a house plant but anyway there's a little flower tour for you um i don't usually focus on the flowers that much but uh yeah i thought it'd be interesting so um yeah, thanks for watching guys, um, lots of love, lots of peace, and I'll speak to you soon.